you guys, y'all were both the last to qualify for this final. Were you getting frustrated or did you realize it was just a matter of time, Sarah? Yeah, I was definitely getting frustrated. I'm so competitive. Like my husband sneezes, uh, <laughs> my son and I will both say, bless you. And then I'll, and he's eight and I'll go, I said it first and he'll be like, mom, it's not a bless you competition. And like, right. so that's just me. I, I, I love competing. And um, so, yeah, it, it was definitely frustrating, but also, um, believe it or not, in three seasons of Survivor, I've never, ever, ever won individual immunity. Um, so it's nothing, it, it's nothing new to me. It's mm -hmm. this is what I'm used to. And so, um, yeah, I just got to just keep plugging away. Yeah. How about you, Danny? Yeah, it, it wasn't necessarily frustrating just because uh, watching previous seasons of the challenge, I knew that 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 my time would come. I know mm -hmm. I would get an opportunity to do something I was really good at. Uh, I know I'm not the best swimmer. I know I'm not the best at puzzles. So the more we get those out of the way, I knew that my shot would come. And if it all came down to it, I don't think anybody wanted to face me in a physical elimination. Uh, so I was I was ready to throw myself in. I would have, Danny. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Except for Sarah. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. Sarah, when, how and when did this rivalry with Angela start? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, like, I, I hate that it did. Um, Angela and I were really close the first few weeks. It's funny. I had a journal that I kept while we were there. And if I read the first few pages, it really makes me sad because we were very close. Um, unfortunately, like... Uh, Things once Tyson and Cash threw me into an elimination, the wheels kind of fell off that train, and it we were never able to put them back on. Uh, and then I, I definitely think Tyson fueled the the feud between Angela and I. Um, again, I'm I don't have any animosity towards him. I don't know where his comes from uh, towards me, um, but I guess it, it comes with the territory, and mm -hmm. um, you know, it's it's just. I guess I'll take it as long as I keep winning. Yeah. Well, Danny, uh, Kiki turned out to be one of the stars of this season. Does she approve of your performance, how you did? Oh, she approved of it. Uh, listen, she, she knows the goal. The goal is to come back with the money, all right? All the other stuff doesn't matter. Uh, she was super happy, though. She was super happy to be a part of the show. Got mm -hmm. to see her last night, got to see Zoe. Uh, so. Su super happy because she's a super fan so for her to actually be a part of a show that she's that much of a fan of uh could, couldn't be better for us well this final looked rough danny what was harder eating onion and garlic or doing transferring the dirt all night long uh the dirt all night long mm -hmm. what you didn't see was we had to transfer the dirt to that uh, place and then we also had to take it back to put it where we first got it from so, so it was super brutal. We, we took the dirt, we revealed the code, and then once you saw the code, you had to put the dirt back so you could step up and grab, uh, grab two bags. So it was, it was a very long night. And Sarah, when you get up to that first puzzle, we, we see you sort of struggling and then kind of having to step away. How long were you actually there and how did you get yourself through it? Um, yeah, so I mean, I have no clue how long I was there. I, I almost wish like somebody would tell me if I mm -hmm. had to guess it was between an hour and two hours. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, it, it, you know, um, I, I like to tell myself like you, you're go, 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 but, um, definitely like every day I face doubt and I have to convince myself that I can do something, but that's what keeps me strong and keeps me going. So yeah, that was definitely a moment I'm going through where it's like, okay, what did I, you know, I, my brain didn't feel like it was working correctly because of the cold, the sleep deprivation, the exhaustion. Um, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure we had early stages of hypothermia and it's just like, okay, regroup. I, I went over to get out of the rain and I'm like, Sarah, they are gonna have to pull you off this mountain. I will stay here till midnight if I have to. I I will eventually get that puzzle. It's not impossible. You know, five other people have done it. So um, yeah, I mean, when then once you know you go through that, it's it's just it's ups and downs. And once you know that you can make it through the valleys, 
uh, then it's all mountaintops. And mm -hmm. so for me, it was, all right, get yourself through this valley and, mm -hmm. and then you'll be fine. And Danny, you look like you are just a puzzle master. Uh, are you really good at puzzles or were you struggling and we just didn't get to see it? No, I, I honestly think that they had my three specific type of puzzles there. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I continued to, when Angela was stuck at the slide puzzle, I begged her to get off the slide puzzle. I'm like, this is the one puzzle I know how to do. Just give me a chance to do it. But oh. she never, uh, and you know, we had a slide puzzle for the first one. Uh, the 10 gram is a, a, a game I have on my phone that I play often when I'm just sitting around. So that worked. And then, you know, the story of Sudoku. Uh, 17 days of quarantine before Survivor was 17 days of doing Sudoku uh, because there's nothing else for you to do out there. So it just worked out for me. The, the timing was everything uh, on this challenge. Ooh, interesting. Now, when you guys finally do make it to this mountaintop, was there a heated tent? Was there anything for you? I'm so worried about you guys at this point. There was a, there was a little cabin. Okay. Uh, it, you know, it, it didn't have a heater in there, but they started a fire uh so and they had a bunch of sleeping bags so you take off all your wet clothes you wrap you in a sleeping bag they had people like rubbing your feet so you can get the feeling back in them and stuff they give you some mm -hmm. hot soup uh so they, they they tried their best to, to get us get us back to being our normal temperature yeah because that's it's funny because you see me finish and then when you see us come out everybody's like whoa yeah what, what happened here and so it's like at that point it was like the continuity was out the window for me because like, they're like hey um remember how it took you so long to get up here sarah yeah well now we need to go out there and and you know do the the film the final part and i'm like okay well uh where's this new clothes that we're putting on and you know they're like oh uh, uh like you gotta put that on and i'm like yeah, that's not happening. And so uh, I have like the doctor sweatpants on and and some random guy's <laughs> shirt and coat. I mean, it, and so, yeah, that's that's literally what, um, it, we haven't had food in like 36 hours mm. sleep and, and we've been cold and wet. Like we've been soaked, like you jumped in a swimming pool uh, for, for, you know, over 30 hours. And um, yeah, that's what, <laughs> That's what something warm will do for you. Yeah. Well, all of the shows were represented in this final, which was really fun to see. Uh, but you're both survivors. So are we saying Survivor is the superior show? Come on. I mean, I heard it all it, season. Survivor strong. <laughs> the proof's in the pudding, baby. That's what that's what happened. Okay. It was, it was, we had six, all six of our, we had six survivor people at the end of the game. Out of uh, eight. Two, out of eight, two of them finish uh, as the champions. So, I mean, that, that says it all. Now you guys are gonna re represent USA at the World Championship Challenge show. How are you guys gonna prepare for that? A lot of swimming for me, a uh, lot, of, lot of figuring out uh, how to swim the proper way because it feels like we're going to be swimming uh, long distances because mm -hmm. that 500 meters was his favorite saying, was TJ's favorite saying all season. Right. We got five meters, 500 meters. I'm like, oh, bro. So I'm, I'm doing a lot of swimming. Yeah, uh, swimming's on the agenda for me. And honestly, like Danny's a great teammate. Um, he's like supportive. We shoot each other like, hey, did you get your run in today? And we, uh, you know, um, so we're definitely like on each other and he's not gonna let me slide like, oh, it's okay, you didn't do it. He's like, what? Get out there and do it, you know? So um, no, it's it's great. It's awesome to have somebody that you can work with and, and just the chemistry there, I think will result in success for us. So I'm excited to see what we can accomplish. It is exciting. Well, thank you guys for your time today.